guys, it's me, Verlin. So, for a lot of reasons, lack of funds being at the top of the list, I never went away to school. I lived at home and took the train to Hunter College semester after semester, and my campus was in New York City. Well, I wanted to know what life, okay, dating life, was like in the other extreme. So I went to Lawrence, Kansas, one of the top 10 college towns in the country. I think it's, it's easy to go out and meet people in a college town because there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of bars and music venues. But there's just so many people here. I mean, there's 40,000 college students here during the school year. Um, so you're always going to find people that are into the same stuff you are. How does you think dating here will be different than dating in New York, for instance? Oh gee, I think dating in New York would be even more difficult actually because everyone's so like, like you don't pay attention to people on the street, you just like ignore everyone. Mm -hmm. And I know at NYU everyone's notoriously like unfriendly and everyone notoriously doesn't talk to each other in class. You're always with your partner and so I mean like it's just a close-knit environment and so when you go out to be with your friends and stuff it's like you know it gives you more time together instead of like when you're off campus in a sense. Is that togetherness a good thing? Sometimes. I said a friend who I think this is kind of just a little bit of a Midwest kind of thing. His father met his wife because he was driving and he saw her and he thought she was really cute. So he pulled in front of her and then put on the brakes oh God. and like stopped her car and then asked her out on a date. Wow. Yeah. No. <laughs> that would yeah. not go yeah. down in New York. No. No. One thing I kept hearing about Lawrence even before I got there was it's the liberal hub of a mostly conservative Kansas state. So of course, I had to find out their views on birth control. I believe in birth control all the way. I got the Ampli-9 in three years. I just had a daughter, so I'm completely with birth control. Uh, birth control, um, I don't know. I, uh, I have a girlfriend, she's not on birth control. Um, I, I don't really know anything about it, really. Um, mm. I think if a girl decides to get on birth control, that's her choice. Um, Pro-life, I would never want to go and have, have to have an abortion, you mm. know? But I do want to prevent that situation as much as I can, you know, being, you know, condoms, birth control, anything that I can, you know, mm -hmm. definitely. So, definitely. Uh, you have a girlfriend? I do have a girlfriend. Is she on birth control? She is on birth control. Do you know what type? She has the, um, she does, it's not a pill, it's the one that's inside. It's not the ring, it's the, the IUD? Uh, it's, it, she said it looks like a T. Are you on birth control? I'm not. Okay. For health reasons or just? I can't do it. Oh, why? Um, I don't know. Something about my hormones. Oh, okay. Yeah. How do you kind of manage that when it comes to your dating life? Um, well, you know, I'm trying to, you know, save myself for marriage. So okay. That's... So that's a guaranteed birth yeah. control, which is an option. Yeah. <laughs> and for those not waiting, KU has a health clinic right on campus. I see that you have. You picked up birth control today. I do. I have student insurance, so it's free. <gasps> Yeah, because um, I well, because I'm using one of the cheaper ones. Like they pay the student insurance pays fifteen bucks, and mine costs fifteen dollars. How much about a month do like you spend? Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars a yeah. month. Oh my god. Yeah, it's expensive. It's crazy how birth control pills can be free for one woman and sixty dollars a month for another. That's why it's so important to know all of your birth control options. So. True to its college town label, it's clear to me that dating in Lawrence definitely revolves around KU. And apparently, some people fully commit to that reality. A lot of them will yeah. go to KU, get a degree at KU, and then like get a job at KU, and then find their <laughs> love at KU, then get yeah. married. Some people get married on KU campus. Oh. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Not exactly for me, but that lifestyle doesn't sound so bad.